Good morning, sir. Would you tell us your name and your DOC number? My name is Anthony Miskell, DOC number 620-677. Yes, sir, Mr. Miskell. You uh, are accused of violating the conditions of your parole. Do you have a parole revocation questionnaire there with you? Uh, no, just me and the officer. No, you got the paper in front. Oh, okay. yeah. so I'm That's sorry, your man. That's your I'm signature. Sorry. That's okay. That's your signature at the bottom of that page. Yes, yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Based on that information, you're not eligible for appointed counsel this morning, so we are going to proceed. All right? I'm going to read the allegations. You'll enter a plea of guilty or not guilty, and Mr. Freeman will be leading the interview. You're yes, accused of violating condition number two, uh, which says, on or about August 3rd, 2023, you were directed to report to your parole office on August 7th, 2023, you failed to report as directed. How do you plead to violating condition number two? I plead guilty. Right. Condition number four, it says on September 5th, 2023, you are arrested by the Kenner Police Department on outstanding warrants for domestic abuse battery and domestic abuse strangulation. How do you plead to violating condition number four? I'm not guilty for that. I okay. got arrested. I got we'll arrested. Talk, for we'll talk about it first. Let's finish it, please. You, your um, uh, condition number 10, you're currently $567 in arrears on your supervision fees. How do you plead? Guilty, ma'am. Okay. Would you answer Mr. Freeman, please? Hi, right, ma'am. Uh, why didn't you report to your probation officer's directive? What was going on that day that you couldn't make it? I just got the dates wrong. I, I just, I don't play with my parole officer like that. He know that I come see him two times a week. I don't play with him like that. I just got the dates wrong. He said, come see him on the 7th, and I just got the dates wrong. But I, I'm I'm totally guilty because I wasn't, I ain't double-checked and handled my business. I'm, I'm totally guilty of it. Because I ain't double checking out of my business. Okay, what were the events uh, surrounding the domestic abuse battery? Sir, sir. Charges, both of these charges were on the same person, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. So what happened? Sir, I didn't even know this woman put these charges out on me. This woman forcing, trying to force me to be in a relationship with her. Sir, I ain't I ain't even have an argument with this lady. This is my bell mama. I ain't even have an argument with this lady. She just she just crazy. I ain't put my hands on her and I ain't have an argument with her. Her friend saw me with another female. Her friend saw me with another female and must have called her and told her that I was playing with her with another female. And she just texted my phone and said, I'm gonna show you B, the, 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 the curse word B. Do you have that text? I, she, my bell mama have my phone right now in her possession. I was going to get her from work. To, I didn't know she had the charges put out on me. She asked me to come get her. She asked me to come get her from work and I came get her from work and I wound up getting pulled over for a traffic stop. My tail light was out and I found out that I had the charges on. I didn't know who the charges was on until I come to jail. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, she's kind of re recanted her statements about the charges. Is she here today? Uh, I don't know, sir. I don't have no contact with her. Okay. So you have no contact oh. with her anymore? No, sir. All I know is my parole officer said that she came to him and told her that she made a false statement. On me, right. I read like all that. of that. I read the, uh, what she said, uh, which she did have a cut on her nose, but it wasn't nothing else real visible. But still, uh, that is battery. Yeah, but she has recanted that statement. Uh, are you, uh, you having any problem with drugs? No, sir. I'm not on drugs and I don't drink. I work six days a week. I do landscaping. Who do you work for? 
I work with my daddy. We self-employed. Okay. But I have uh, proof. My parole officer have proof of me working. Okay, I understand. Uh, I have no further questions. Oh. You tested positive for marijuana December of 22, right? Yes, ma'am. That was my said, last time. That was my that was my last time using drugs. That's the only drugs I used to be on. I did a 15-day turnaround for that and never put another a blunt to my mouth no more after that. Okay, all right. So and you if, so you're working, what's the reason that you're five, six, or seven behind on your fees? Because I'm helping my family pay bills. I came home from prison, we was all the way behind on bills and I had I was I had got me some transportation. And I I just I didn't think it was a big problem. Okay. But now you know that you, you that is your freedom. Take care of your fees, right? You understand that now. Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Not out. You know, you're no good to them if you're not out taking care of your business too. It's a balancing act. It's a balancing act. I realize that. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I had a chairman. So you do landscaping work, you said? Yes, ma'am. Work six, six days a week. Yes, ma'am. Y'all has got us. Yeah, so so how many yards do y'all cut a day? Uh, right now is the winter, so we'll be cutting like tw 10 or 12 yards in the winter with the every two weeks. And during the summertime, we cut 16 to 18 yards a day. It's a lot. All right. Uh, anything you want to say to us before we vote? Ma'am, I'm, I'm, I, I just, I'm respectfully asking for y'all to give me another chance. I, I learned to, 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 you know, I, to, to surround myself around better people, and I was trying my best, ma'am. I wasn't committing no crimes. I wasn't doing nothing out there All right. to land myself back in prison. I think we're ready to vote, Mr. Freeman. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, you know, Mr. Misko, when you're on supervision, you got to watch what happens. Yes, you sir. Make, get you caught up quick, real quick. Yes, yes sir. You can at these statements, but you still could be revoked. I just want to let you know that. You know, yes, if we sir. have more evidence, uh, if I had more evidence and could prove that you laid your hands on her, yes, I don't, but I don't have enough evidence here to uh, to say you did that and all the charges were dropped. So my recommendation is going to be uh, to do not revoke, <laughs> reprimand, and order you to stay away from Miss. Dolphin. Dolphin? Is that yes, her sir. name? I want yes, you to stay. Now, I know y'all got a child together. So if you need to get that child, get your dad, your mother, your friend, or somebody else to either go with you or let them go get it. Because we don't want yes, this kind of stuff happening again. He, she, she, say. Yes, sir. So you got you to gotta abide by all of those things. Yes, sir. And uh, I'm going to put a curfew on you from uh, 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. Yes, sir. Ms. Wise. Uh, Ms. Anthony, I concur. Uh, I'm going to take a chance on you as well. Uh, I do not revoke and return you to supervision, but I'd like to see you get involved in counseling. If you enroll in general counseling for a period of time that the council think it's necessary, get with your parole officers. You are going to find something that's free or at no cost to you, you know, if that's the case. But really sit down and talk some things out with people. That's what you see. So. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. All right. And my vote is the same, Mr. Uh, Ms. Gale. My vote also is do not revoke with all those uh, stipulations. Do you understand them? Yes, ma'am. All right. Today, uh, you are not revoked. You'll be returned to supervision. Uh, good luck to you, sir. That concludes our business in Jefferson. Uh, we are going to sign off at 12.06 p.m. Thank you, sir, for helping us out today. All right, thank, thank you. Y'all have a good day. Good, thank you.